What makes a great spoken poetry? Do you think is the use of figurative language, performance, or the invite reading of the text? What just pop up in your mind can be all correct. But I'm telling you, the most important thing to make a great spoken poetry is letting the audience to understand what you're talking about. One Color by Neil Hillborn and Only Samiki is much more interesting and effective than Somewhere in America by Belisa Escobedo, Rihanna, Mike Given, and Zaria Allen. One Color has a clear target audience and context, powerful performance, and have better choice of wording. In comparison, somewhere in America changed the context in each stanza, also the pace of the performance is too fast. Somewhere in America should not be on a short list because the performance length and it was overall confusing as the poem changed its context in each stanza. This poem focuses on targeting people that have been to school, whether it's in the 70s, 80s, or 90s. However, the context in each stanza changed from family to education to politics to social issues. Rather than saying their performance is not effective, I would say that there is no emotion in the performance because they barely use sound devices and body language. Also, it repeats ideas and phrases too many times. This shows the social issue of school banning the books because it involves violence but not acknowledging the fact that there is violence in the real world. Then in stanza 3, it contrasts to kill a mockingbird to KKK's website. It demonstrates how schools are banning the novel about racism against Native Americans and not letting students read the book. However, the media allows people to read the KKK's website, which is the website criticizing racial differences. In stands out for the context change yet again to political issues. The court explained the society is layering over the history and make Americans forget where they are really standing. Changing three topics in three stands out. How can we pick up the message if it keeps on changing your ideas? We would not want to be confused, right? Furthermore, its performance isn't appropriate to tell a clear message because the words spoken in the performance are too rapid. Let's see the first example. Maya Angelou is prohibited because we're not allowed to talk about rape in school. Rihanna actually performed it quite well with a really steady pace and tone. However, in the next line, We were taught that just because something happens doesn't mean you are to talk about it. But Lisa, Rihanna, and Zaria suddenly speed up. This is bad because it distracts from the performance. It's like the girls are speaking fast to hide the fact that they have no imagery. Furthermore, they use very little body language, for instance, when they say, they give awards for best attendance, but not for keeping your family off the streets. They do not use any gesture. This time would have been improved if they did because the audience could feel more involved into the poem. One Color by Neil Hillman and Only Samiki has an obvious target audience and context. Also, it is powerfully performed. This poem is clearly aimed at us, teenagers in high school. One color does not change their context from the start until the end like somewhere in America does. Also, it uses straightforward wording and has a great fluency in the poem. The invite reading explains how school only teach us how to prepare for the expect situations However, it does not teach us what to do when facing an unusual problem. The context of one color is focusing on sexual education. This quote explains that the school only tells students what the general situation and consequences of having sex. 
but they don't tell us how sex can take place. Here they are suggesting that the red dot is a symbolic of danger, which is rape. However, the rest of the painting, the blue and green and orange, the uncles and brothers and friends are not rapists. This is to say, do not confuse one story for all stories. It is obvious that the message of this poem is clear and so relevant to young people. Now, let's see the performers. My dad handed me a box of condoms and said, you know how to use these, right? This performance creates the imagery of he is the father and shows that he feels embarrassed and awkward to teach correct sexual knowledge to his child. In next performance, you can see Neil and Ollie drag you into the poem by doing lots of action. We would make pretend husband and wife, make pretend love. The thing about pretend is, is that, that it flattens everything to one color. color. It makes it too simple. It makes it one syllable, and, and that, that syllable is always captioned as a yes. It would be a boring performance if Neil and Ollie do not use this much body language and sound devices. It is because every action and the use of different tone creates imagery and drag the audience to be part of the performance. One Color by Neil and Ollie has a clear target audience and contacts also perform with a passion. As I mentioned at the start, the most important point to make a great poem is that the audience immediately grabs and understands the message of this poem. One Color uses straightforward wording and has a clear context as well as a great fluent performance. However, having a look at somewhere in America, it is clear that the context changes in every stanza. Also, it is performed in a really fast pace. Due to this reason, don't you agree that somewhere in America should be replaced for the short list of poems for the upcoming article with one color?